Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 25th of October. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. Now I'm going to give you the major themes of this week and then please stay with me. I'll dive deep to give you your detailed zodiac forecast for each of the 12 signs. Now this week's most glorious influence goes between Venus in Sagittarius and Jupiter, the ruler of Sagittarius, in the friendly sign of Aquarius. Now this combination could see some kind of gathering, a reunion, uh, it may be some travel plans with a larger group of people, and all these things can provide a lot of uplift. It's also possible that somebody could enter your circle or someone who's been a friend for some while start to creep up on your senses in terms of a romantic possibility. But Venus in the sign of Sagittarius is a truth seeker. Jupiter in, in Aquarius is thinking about the wider needs of people. So it would hardly be a surprise if the person that you were chatting to either socially or perhaps even in terms of romance with someone who's a bit different, a bit more unique. Certain, certainly somebody who could be a bit of a free spirit. But if you are wanting something more devotional, the fact that Neptune, the planet of dreams, squares with Venus creates a little bit of uncertainty. That aspect can see us be tempted to put someone on a pedestal. And that's something we should try to avoid this week. However much the good vibes are there, there are some more cautionary energies that I need to tell you about. Not least, the Sun is challenged by the stern restrictive energies of Saturn. Now Saturn is in the sector of the group, Aquarius, no longer in retrograde, which is to be uh, celebrated, but the Sun is finding its way in the sign of Scorpio, which is very much to do with deep commitment and devotion. So if you're wanting that in a relationship and you get to know someone that you find very attractive, but for them it's more of a fleeting experience, that could be quite hurtful. So just be conscious of the reality of where you might be coming from in terms of your expectations and where somebody else may also be coming from from theirs. Also Mars in the sign of relating. Libra, where it's afflicted, is in a square with Pluto. Now this is an aspect of force and drive and desire, but it's not one that's so much to do with gently talking things over. It's quite raw, it's quite visceral, it wants its reward, it's a desire-led planet, Mars, and therefore it's to do with instant gratification. So however much someone may be relating, their desire and ambition around that relationship or that situation can be quite unbridled. Just be aware that by the end of the week, Mars does move into the sign of Scorpio, which it governs and will be there through to the second week of December. And that is going to be very helpful in a way because being in its dignity will help it to strut its stuff much better than it has in the sign of Libra, where it's in detriment. So just be conscious of that. But of course, Mars in Scorpio brings that desire uh, element of our nature even more strongly to the fore. But the quarter moon on Thursday in Leo suggests a little bit of um, jealousy could be washing around this week. It's not going to be a walk in the park week, but there is those glorious aspects. You know, Neptune, Square and Venus can still be very, very good as long as we keep one toe on terra firma. But that link between Venus and Jupiter is really, really beautiful. I think we just need to make sure that whatever our expectations are, we keep the reality very much to the forefront of our thinking, and that way we can make the most of this week. But please stay with me for your deep dive video. But if you are new to my channel, I would be honored if you would subscribe. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. And remember, you can get your free daily horoscope fired to your device each morning by clicking on the link beneath this video and subscribing. Or if you'd like to get your year 2022 personal horoscope, the year is rush, rushing up towards us. You can order it now, get the rest of this year free, plus 30% off and a character analysis. Please to do see the link beneath this video.
Hello Aquarius and welcome to your in-depth forecast for week commencing the 25th of October. The sun has moved into that part of your horoscope to do with goals, ambitions, responsibilities, leadership and you can shine particularly from the end of this week when Mars joins up with the sun in its home zone of Scorpio and it's going to be there through till halfway through December. So the opportunity for you to showcase your talents future forwards is very positive indeed. So what's not to like? Well, it's just that this week, the quarter moon in your opposite sign of Leo and Saturn, your co-ruler in your sign, they're both coming into conflict with the sun in Scorpio. So balancing what other people want to what you want, the individual, to what works in terms of achieving that success may require a little bit of toggling. Also Mars, the planet of passion, is in a very intense right angle with Pluto in the first half of this week. And if there is or has been any politics, particularly over point of principle or contract, some kind of negotiation you need to go through, it could reach a furnace point uh, at the start of this week but by the end of the week I do think you can sort this out and what's going to help you is that Venus and Jupiter, Jupiter in your sign, the greater benefit in Jupiter's case, the lesser in Venus's case, they're about fortune and your connections to other people can be very lucky for you and so networking, something you often have a great skill for and can have a, a lovely deft touch around that's going to be just as important as that raw desire to get on and do well so it can be a case of who as much as what you know this week but if you don't immediately achieve your objectives this week just know that in the following six weeks after this one there's going to be ample opportunities to gain traction